Hey guys, this is you just previewed, and today, in what's going to be the first of a new series of videos, I'm going to be redoing my VHS collection. We start off, as we did in the first VHS collection, with the American tapes, on which I now have a complete bollock load. So, let's get started. I'm going to do these first, and then these. This should take one part. First off, here's Monty Python and my Holy Grail. Personally, my pick for the best film ever made. Are you sure he's a witch? This is a release by RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video. And uh, I know the preset in the UK was done by Brent Walker, and then it was released by CBS Fox. And Columbia tries to release a DVD. So it's, it's gone through a lot of distributors, let's just say. I guess that Miracle on 34th Street, this is a remake, not the original. John Hughes remake. Normally 16, well, what a bargain. Quid. Actually, I paid about 50p for this. This is one of the other Fox videotapes I have. I've got a couple other US ones. I'm not sure, but... Okay, now I'm moving on to the clamshells. This is Billboard Dad. The only reason I bought this was because it was autographed. Frank looks like a crap film, so... The tape with the ink label and the print date is March 14th, 2001. Get back in there, you bugger. Oh. Next is Switching Goals, which is also autographed, and the only reason why I bought the thing. This has an ink label as well, and uh, what's this? March 27th, 2001 is the print date. Okay, next up is probably one of the most sought after tapes that I own, Dumbo. This is the Walt Disney Classics release, as you can see here. And uh, so it's got all that standard bullshit I come with that. It's a very well used tape, as you can see, with a sticker label, and the print date is May 15th, 1988. It's also one of the oldest tapes I own. I own older. Up next we have Dinosaur. Which I got at a fair for like 50p. This is a Canadian copy as you can see from Canadian flag down there on a Canadian home video. So there's an uh, ink label with the FBI warning on it and because it's a Canadian copy it doesn't have a print date. Here you go. Okay, next up is Annie. This is a Disney remake, um, not the original one. You can see the original one's bollocks and... I find this to be the superior version. Let's see ink label, and the print date is Leap Day 2000. Spectre Gadget with a Ferris Bueller and some I can't remember any films that we prefer it's been in other than this one. Go, go, Gadget Thunder, even tell your family! Yeah, this is from when I did the closing to it. I still haven't rewound it. Print date here is November 2nd, 1999. Last clamshell tape, my favourite Martian. The Martian is lean, but here goes the neighbourhood. It's out of this world, apparently, and there's a uh, spacesuit with the Invisible Man in it. Oh. There's a thing with the ink label, and print date is July 13th, 1999. Okay, so that's it with the clamshells and the other thing. Now I've got to move on to the crap load of slipcovers that I have. And here's to start off, is Bullets with Steve McQueen, which has a massive Warner Brothers logo on it. I have reason to believe this is one of the original releases. Apparently it's not rated. The tape says different. Still has the original rating on it. 
think M was retired in like the 70s. And the print date on here is April 16th, 1993. Okay, so I've got a trio here. Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Which I find to be a brilliant film. It's got uh, the ink label on it and there's no print date. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, which is the reason the PG-13 rating was created in the US. Why does it have Canadian Home Video PG in Raiders of Lost Ark's 14A? No, this doesn't look good day either. Here's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Bonus interviews! Oh, they all have that. Inglable and yet again, this does not have a print date. Maybe no print date is a recurring thing among Paramount tapes. But guy, hey, motherfucker! Here's Die Hard. Falsy stories of sheer adventure. I find this to be a great film, unlike its predecessor. No, not predecessor. What am I on about? This is the first one. And the most recent one is a pile of crap. Don't watch it. Uh, be very careful. It's a tape with a sticker label, and there is no print date. Maybe one of these things will have a print date. A bullet did, but... This Cable Guy, with Jim Carrey and Ferris Bueller again. It's a Columbia Pictures tape. I know there are copies of this that have trailers. This one doesn't, but I can't be asked to find the other one. It's a sticker label, and this is never printed. Uh, there's Batman Returns with Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, and Michelle Pfeiffer, and there's a Lorax down there. If you know what I mean. Another Warner Home Video release. I've got a lot of these. This has an ink label on it. This is a 1992 release, but it was printed on June 15th, 2000. And it still has uh, previews and stuff from the original 1992 release. Why am I saying previews? It doesn't have any trailers on it. The name and laughter from hereafter. Here's Beetlejuice, which I believe to be the original release. A sticker label and there's an end label on it. This is one of the first American tapes I got. Better fair for like 50p, which is a common feat. This doesn't really look like much, but it's Black Adder's Christmas Carol. Get it out. Bear with me. There we go. It's a tape with a sticker label and there is no print date. There's a BBC video on it and these things were distributed by CBS Fox. Well, to get it back in. Now we only got two more. The ultimate one is Grease, which I think is the oldest tape I have. This is the original 78 re-release, but my copy is the later print from 82. Got the thing from Amazon. Right? That's a label. So this is Paramount Home Video on it, and there's an ad label. And last, but certainly not least, South Park Volume Two, which I got for twenty-five cents from Mr. Cheapo. Are you sure you don't want to stay for some toasted cheese sandwiches? I only did that because I can be covered in the big gay owl voice. There's a tape with an ink label and the print date on this is April 19th, 1998. And I managed to do that in under 10 minutes, so that's all for now. I will do part 2 in just a second. You just previewed out.